Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning more about file streams. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We will call it file writing. We'll select Windows Forms application and we'll click OK. Now we'll just wait for that to load. So once it's loaded, let's go over here to our toolbox. We will add a text box. We'll make it multi-line. We'll make it a little bit bigger and we will add a button. So we'll set the text to um, open file. Now for now this is just going to open the same file each time. We're going to be learning about open file dialogues later on. So then we'll make another button and we will have it say uh, write file so we'll go ahead and set the names of each one of these so button write and button read okay so we'll go ahead and double click on open file and once we're in here we'll just zoom in some okay so what we need to do to use streams is import system.io so system.inputoutput now let's come up here and create a new file stream. So private file stream as file stream. So now that we have this file stream, it's not set to anything. So what we need to do is set that to a file. Now you can see here, uh, let me open this up. We have my file right here, uh, which is a text document and it currently says if this will let me drag it, it says hello. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And if you guys are wondering what this is, um, it's a picture of a website that was an attack website. And I recently got a virus on my computer and a vast didn't detect it. So I just spent a couple hours trying to get that off. And I just took a screenshot of it. Uh, I just wanted to clear that up in case you guys were like, oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and minimize that. So now what we need to do is we need to open that file. So what we're going to do is we're going to use fs to do that. So we'll set file stream is equal to file dot open, and you can see we have uh, open, which will uh, open a file. We've got open read, uh, which will open it and let us read it. We can open the text from a file, um, and we can open write. So what we want to do is we want to open write so that we can write to our file and the argument that it takes is path as a string so we'll just do it in the G drive my file dot text now if we try to access directly into the C drive we're gonna get a permissions error because um, the application does not automatically have access to the C drive we'd have to run it as the admin and that's partly the reason why, why I'm using the G drive for each one of these so now what we need to do is we need to write some text to that file. So um, let's go ahead and first let's put all of that text inside of the text box. So we'll just do textbox one dot text is going to be equal to and we'll just open we'll just get the text from that file. So file dot read all text and we'll read all the text from g colon backslash, backslash uh, my file dot text. Now let's go ahead and take this right here and we'll cut that and let's put it under form one load. So whenever the form one loads, it's going to go ahead and add that to it. Okay, so now what we need to do is when they click write file, let's go ahead and write the file. So We'll double click on this and we will type fs equals file. I mean, no, we want to do fs dot write, and so we're going to need an array of bytes. So let's go ahead and come up here and create that array. So we'll declare an array by using the dim keyword. And let's just call it file words. 
and we want to make an array of bytes. Now we're going to have to set that equal to something. So we'll just use new UTF-8 encoding. We'll type true in right here. Dot. Now what we need to do is type get bytes. So get bytes and then at the path g colon backslash, backslash uh, my file dot text. So this is just basically going to get everything in that text uh, file and it's going to write it I mean it's going to save it in this byte array. Now we're gonna to have to import system.txt for this to work. So actually we're not gonna need this right here. This is not the path. This is the text we're gonna use. So we'll just type textbox one dot text. So what we want to write to that file is our file words. And we need to add the parentheses or not. We'll just offset it by zero and the count is going to be the file words dot length. So we're going to take this file words by array and we're going to write it to our file that we've opened which is gmyfile.txt and then what we want to do is offset it by zero which basically we'll just put it right in after the last character and the length that we want to write it is pretty much everything inside of this array which is file words dot length now uh, let's make sure everything is working so we'll go ahead and run this okay so we'll type hello YouTube and then we'll click write file now let's go ahead and close out of this and we'll open that file back up and see if it saved our changes. So you can see here that we've got hello YouTube inside of our text file. So obviously there's some changes that you can make in this for the better. As you can see when they have to click read to actually open the file to be able to write to it. We should have put that under form 1 load. Um, but I just put it in there for this tutorial. And whenever they want to write it's going to go ahead and get the bytes for whatever they've put in the text box one. Now the reason we need to do this is because the write, um, the write function or method uh, only accepts a byte array. So we just need to create this. You don't really have to know what this means. It just um, UTF encoding is the standard used for text files. Uh, we want it to be true, and then we want to get the bytes of whatever they've typed in. So go ahead, um, practice this, and once you got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.